Hello and welcome to Winning with Wiggins, where we win, we win, we win. I am Lisa L. Wiggins, the Certified Financial Educator, and I'm here with you. I wanted to drop in just real quick, share some tidbits with you today. So today is Saturday, December 28, 2019. We're about four days away from the new year. Can you believe it? Oh my gosh. So I was reading my book today. The Slay Your Finances, ABCDs, a personal finance book. And so I was in the car just going over some of the pages and just reading um, some of the information in my book. And I thought I'd come in and just share some information with you about tax refunds. So there's a section in the book that talks about assets. And one of the things that I cover, and I cover so many different things that um, you normally might not consider an asset, but a tax refund is one of those things that I cover now. In the book, I say that it's an unnecessary asset. Now, it's an asset because it's cash. You're receiving it. You can invest it. You can. It has value. So it, it is an asset, something that you can um, use to uh, further um, increase your funds um, if you invest it properly. So it is a type of asset, but it's an unnecessary asset. And why is that? Guys, we are not really supposed to be receiving tax refunds. Let me explain, because I know that um, culturally, our culture um, really just really kind of glorifies tax refunds. Um, people are always looking for large refunds and they are waiting for, you know, January to hit so we can get those W-2s in and get that large tax refund back. But the real, the real, um, Thing is here is that tax refunds are not supposed to be coming back to you. You really should be getting that money in your paycheck throughout the year. So um, basically, the, the real honest, um, just no two ways about it statement is if you're receiving a very large tax refund, it's really due to mismanagement of your funds. And that's because you're not paying, you're paying in too much money to the government during the year. That's why you're receiving back a large refund. Even those who get credits and, 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 and a lot of, uh, let's say, um, income tax credits like um, the child dependent care credit or um, the earned income tax credit. There are so many different credits that you um, file after the fact and you get those money, those monies back um, as a tax refund. But though, even though the money with those credits can come to you during the year, you can file a form that will allow you to receive that money during the year instead of paying Uncle Sam, your money, having them holding your money during the whole year and then just to receive it back at the end of the year. So on page 21 of my book, Slay Your Finances, ABCDs of Personal Finance, on page 21, I was looking over this information and I was like, wow, I have to uh, share this information with you guys. And I'm going to turn the phone around so I can um, show you uh, a piece of information that's actually found in the book. So there in the, in, on page 21, there's a little snapshot and I give you an example of how a tax refund costs you money. Say, for instance, you receive a tax refund of $3,600, pretty large refund. Um, the fact of the matter is the government has been receiving $3,600 more from you during the year than they should have, which is why you receive a tax refund. Um, it either came in the form of you're paying in FIT, federal um, income taxes being withheld, or it came in the form of credits that you opted to receive the credit back at tax return time instead of re receiving the, that money during the actual calendar year into your paycheck. 
Um, so this little example here of this $3,600 refund shows you that as an example, if you were to have received that money in over the course of about 14 months, um, if you had received that money into your paycheck and instead invested it instead of allowing the government to have the money and you were able to invest it, say, in an 8% interest um, vehicle that was compounded quarterly on a recurring uh, monthly deposit of, three, say, $300 a month. So $300 times 12 months over that year gets a $3,600. That would have saved you $216. You would have actually earned $216 on that money, on that $3,600. But instead, the money has gone to Uncle Sam, and then he returns you only $3,600 while investing the money, <laughs> the government investing the money themselves and receiving that money instead of you. So I wanted to just really come in and explain this tax refund business because I was having a conversation with my daughter and, you know, she's, she's, you know, in her, in her twenties and, you know, her and a lot of her friends are always looking for large tax refunds. And I, I've, I've trained her and taught her how to adjust her um, federal income tax withholding. Make sure that the amount that you're having withheld will allow you to come as close as possible to breaking even with your taxes. Um, it, it may be that you may owe a couple of hundred dollars or you might be able to receive back a couple of hundred dollars, which is fine. Um, but the goal is to receive as much of your money into your paycheck during the year so that you can manage your funds and do what you like to do and assign your money um, to goals, um, to investments, to be able to save um, instead of giving that money to the government during the year. So what have we learned today, Golden Path Warriors? We have learned that a large uh, tax return or tax refund is not a good thing. Yeah, it's an asset, but it's an unnecessary asset because that money belongs to you and you can receive that money within the calendar year inside of your paycheck instead of waiting 14 months from January to the next year, February, to receive a refund of the money that you could have been receiving all along and saving or investing and earning um, extra money on that money and on that refund. So um, I hope that this information has been helpful. If you have not gotten the book, if you have not gotten the book, go and get the book, Slay Your Finances, ABCDs of Personal Finance. Um, you can find it at Amazon.com and Kindle in the Kindle electronic version, or you can find it um, at, at, well, they have a paperback version on Amazon as well. Or you can find it on my website at www.lisalwiggins.com. So I want to thank you for joining in and learning and growing um, and helping um, to um, get the information that you need to change your money mindset and change your money behaviors so that you can walk the golden path of financial freedom, financial security, and financial wellness. Thank you for joining in on this broadcast of Winning with Wiggins, where we win, we win. You ready? We win. Thank you guys. Have a great evening and I'll see you next time on Winning with Wiggins.